what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so I'm sure you all been seeing all these BNGO videos and uh, reading about it and so okay so this is what's going on they just finished a whole week their symposium which she was full packed with grain news okay so that's great for the stock then uh, president-elect Joe Biden announced his new stimulus packet and apparently they are gonna the government is gonna inject about 20 billion dollars into the whole genomic sector so the goal of this video guys is for all you newer guys watching all these YouTube videos like from yesterday and today and seeing all these thumbnails BNGO going to 20, BNGO going to the moon, get in. I know a lot of you guys, especially you guys that have access to Weeble, are going to be just jumping in like crazy on this thing. And I do not recommend that, okay? Yes, that is a that is great catalyst. And I, I am bullish on BNGO and I have a position on BNGO. But you have to be tactful when you are coming in to this company right now especially because the run-up right you got to keep some things in mind like who is there to tell you that once they hit ten dollars they are not gonna hit you with another offering so what I'm trying to say is if I was in a position that I am trying to get in I would expect some sort of pullback because I believe there is gonna be one okay you don't want to jump in at the very top of the move you you you, you never want you don't want to buy into resistance because you can get dumb time especially with these companies that were pennies a few weeks ago they can hit you with a offering it doesn't matter that they just did one like last week or the week before the week before and then dm all these companies they've been doing two three four offerings like back to back to back and all i'm trying to all i'm trying to do here is trying to save you guys some money and just give you a different perspective okay because i know they all these videos right now that i've been seeing the thumbnails they just telling you that this thing is gonna be twenty dollars by friday and I, again i am bullish on it but i just wanted to clarify that for you so i want to go through the chart this is the four hour chart okay so you can see we had this big run-up we had a pullback some consolidation and another big run-up okay I believe this was the offering right here this big red candle with this big big wick I believe that's that's the offering so on Friday I said it like early in the morning I was said it on, on Twitter and I said it on TikTok and I even posted a video before my price target for BNGO within the next couple uh, trading days it was ten dollars well right out the gate this thing ran to 950 so let's, let's go to a shorter time frame this is the five minute chart this market open this then it went it dipped to 750 and it went two points that's a two point move in 5 10 15 20 about 25 minutes so like the first 30 minutes of the market this thing was just running up okay and that's that's great but I I know I know a lot of people again got up here or even up here because he pulled back then started wicking and wicking guys when you see when you're looking at a trend and it's starting like it does this move right here once you see th these big wicks like I've said in, in other videos that's selling pressure that is people just slamming dumping chairs okay and then it pulled back down there's a there was a lot of buying down here and it started bringing coming back up so a lot of people were jumping in look at all these wicks okay people assumed that it was a pullback from the highs it was gonna curl down and it was gonna take off again once it got here that's when I when I already knew that what, what, we, were going, what we were getting okay do you see this candle right here that's a dead grave that's that's a grave candle that's that's a dead candle there is so much buying and selling, but you see the way the candle closed red and we just wicks and then we got another one just straight up wicks 
and then look the next candle. Like when you see this, that's when this that's that's the the chart telling you that the stock is about to reverse. It's gonna go the other way, and you can see it on the way down too. Like if you see the, the stock trending down, and all of a sudden you see like this little guy right here. Look what happened after. Okay, so when you see these candles like this. That's the chart telling you that this thing is about to reverse. Either way, okay, either way. So I want to point out some po uh, some some places here to look at, and one place that is gonna be of some issue is gonna be a fifty. And this is considering that we don't get a gap up over a fifty on Tuesday, because I believe the market is closed on Monday. So at a fifty, we got one the psychological level of a half number. That's gonna be the first resistance. So let's. Let's draw let's draw a line about A50 right here. Okay. Second, we got the VWAP at A49. So that's double resistance. Okay. So that tells you right there that we are gonna need massive volume to break through the A50. So what I would do if we are not pulling back down to this area, which I I doubt that we get that low, but you never know about the 780s. Don't buy at 848, 849, 850. Okay, wait till we pass that. Let one candle, at least one candle, close above 850, and that is gonna be your signal pretty much that 850 resistance is gone. Okay, don't buy at 849 or 848 like this like this, don't buy there. If you are gonna buy at that level, wait till it pass 850. You can buy, you can set up a stop limit buy order at like 855, okay? Just don't buy in this area because you are running the risk that it's gonna reverse right there on you. Second uh, levels that I want you guys to pay attention to is this area right here, which is gonna be like, let's say nine. So nine is gonna be obviously resistant again because it's a whole number. And we got some right here, you see? You got this candle was trying to run up, hit a nine, and that was a big rejection. Do you see this red candle right here? Big rejection. We came back up, we got this candle here, past nine, didn't close above nine. So that does, that's telling me that there is a lot of sellers on this $9 area. Then we got another one, another grave candle right here. Past nine, came right back down. And then we got this big red candle. So that is telling you right there that there is a lot of sellers on this $9 area. So again, I would not buy at the $9 area. Wait till we pass that area. Because I don't want you to buy at $8.99, $9, and then right back down to like $8, okay? You want to again leave at least one candle close above nine and these guys is if you are trying to get like a short return okay if you are investing for the long term I wouldn't even be looking at this chart to be honest with you if you are trying to just buy a thousand shares of this thing and just kind of like set it and forget it I'll, I'll be looking at let's say the, the 20 day chart with one hour candles because the, the the short term candles if you are investing for like the long term is just gonna be background noise, okay? So if you are if you are trying to just again buy, set it and forget it, just you can I guess you could get in whatever you want to. But I'm trying to kind of like prevent you guys to buy into an offering because again, I don't know, but I have this feeling and I could be wrong that we are gonna go out to like a ten dollar area and they're gonna hit you with an offering. And that would that would probably be the best time to buy, okay? And that's what I always say, guys. I preach this on all social media. Don't buy the highs, okay? Wait for a pullback. Always wait for a pullback. Don't buy the highs because if you are trying, especially if you have a small account and you're just starting and you're trying to like hold it for like a day or two and sell it and get some money and get into the next thing, don't buy the high, guys. And again, if you are investing for the long term, sure, go ahead and and buy it and look at it in six months and see where you are. Hopefully, hopefully it made you some money. 
But I just that's 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 the whole point of this video because all the other YouTubers are talking about the good things, okay? They are talking that it's gonna go to twenty dollars. The government is gonna give the genomic sector twenty billion dollars, and they discovered this week that they can help with uh, the pandemic with the COV nineteen, and they can help. Yeah, they have a great product. You have the Arc Invest uh, genome uh, uh, analysts talking about it, talking about it about BNGO, and again, guys, just you know. Some YouTubers, they only show you the good things and it kind of seems, I'm not saying they are, but it kind of seems like they're just pumping the thing. And like the other day I watched a video, somebody pumping an NDM, Nano Dimensions, pumping it. This thing is going to the moon. Look at this chart. Next day, offering. So what I'm thinking is how many of his like 50,000 subs just bought an NDM right before the offering? And that's why I want, that's that's what I'm trying to avoid you guys to going through, okay? So that's the whole point of this video. BNGO has great potential. I'm bullish in it. I have a position and I'm long. But I just want to get, like, guys, newer guys that want to get in, trying to find the right spot and not just get FOMO because a lot of YouTubers are saying that this thing is going to go to the moon next week. It might go to the moon, but it might not, okay? You always, and I said again, you always got to be pessimistic especially with these smaller companies because they can dump on you real quick this thing can make it ten dollars shareholders like major shareholders can dump on you and then hit you with an offering and you are gonna be at seven dollars with an average of like ten or like nine eighty and that's not good yeah maybe like five years from now that's doesn't that's not gonna matter but if you have a thousand dollar account and you have 98 percent of your portfolio invested in bngo you are more than likely to sell out a loss. I can guarantee you, you are more than likely to sell out a loss. And that's what I'm trying to avoid here. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this comment, consider giving it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. Peace out.